imagine you want to have the world shape files so in your QJS go to a status bar here in the coordinate so try checking this and type world then enter so here are your shape file of the world so you can see all countries and the continents to perform buffer uh, your point or uh, layer should be in projected coordinate reference system so here we have set of points but uh, the properties or information you can see that it's in uh, world uh, geographic coordinate reference system so we need to project this layer so first of all uh, I'll select one point that I want to perform buffer then go ahead to the attribute toolbar and select this uh, selection tool and I'll select this point then I'll export this but I'll save it as projected coordinate reference system so I'll uh, save as here I'll go to my uh, data set and light buffer then save then here make sure click on save selected feature then here in our CLIS, we'll change this to uh, the projected. So here, uh, this is, uh, I know the place, so it's UTM zone uh, set 7. Ah, uh, no, set 2, yeah. So if you want to know the UTM zone, you can watch the previous video, and you'll know UTM zone of different places. So here I have the UTM zone. I'll click OK. Then after this, uh, uh, go ahead and click OK. So you will save this point as buffer. So I will create buffer from this point. So what buffer does, it selects or it identifies which point uh, is near this one. So if it's uh, which distance you can measure, like from here to here, or you can create buffer 10 kilometers so you can know the inclusive points in this area or any layer so go ahead to vector here in the geoprocessing tools uh, buffer so here if you select now buffer point that we projected you can see the units change to meters so from here you can select kilometers miles feet or yards so here is a distance that you put so here i'll try uh, creating kilometers uh, 10 kilometers from the point so i'll, I'll create that buffer and I click run and close so you can see I've created buffer so I can try making this point more transparent so uh, go ahead to uh, symbology and select this tool uh, the opacity to be at least this one okay then apply so here you can see that at 10 kilometers the inclusive points are two this one and this one so you can go ahead create buffer uh, at uh, larger distances and you can find the points that are included in that point so this is used when you want to allocate resources or any other study that you want to extract data that are let's say a certain distance from a uh, selected point and